What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And today we have a giant unboxing, not quite a massive tech unboxing, but this is a big unboxing nonetheless. And this is of the Surface Studio 2. This is the latest version of Microsoft's all-in-one. And this is a good looking computer. I saw it when it was first announced and man, I'm excited to open this thing up. All right, so we peel off these stickers over here. Sucks that we actually need to use a knife, but it's all good. Dang, this thing is, oh, this presentation is just so, so good. Is this just, it just feels like it's all screen. You know, this actually isn't that heavy. Okay, so we've got the Surface Studio over here. And let's see, we've got a few more things inside of here as well. This, of course, has to be the keyboard. Oh, you get the keyboard. You also get the pen, as well as the mouse, all in one little package here. I like that they include the number pad right off the bat. We also have the pen, which has a magnet. Kind of throw that guy over there. And we got the mouse. And we're gonna make a bit of a surface setup once we're done unboxing this guy and we check it all out. What else do we have? We got some paperwork over here. I love you, Microsoft, but I'm not gonna read this unless I have to. This is like a secret compartment. This has to be the power cable. Oh, it's a power cable, of course. That's pretty much it. This is a very, very simple unboxing. And this is the base right here at the bottom. This is kind of where everything goes on. And in the back here, we have the IO. So we have four USB 3.0 ports, as well as an ethernet port, the area for your power plug, a USB type C port, as well as an SD card reader and a headphone jack. Let's actually power it on, show you guys why this thing is so cool. So guys, we've got it on and this thing is beautiful. It is a big display here. So we got a 28 inch display, 4,500 by 3000 resolution. So nice, crisp, beautiful display. But for those of you who are curious about the specs, We've got an Intel Core i7 processor in here. It's 7th gen though. I do wish it was like an 8th gen processor, but it's 7th gen. Uh, it also has 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage. And what's really nice is that it also has an NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics card inside of here. So gaming is definitely gonna happen. We're gonna definitely have to take advantage of that. I'm gonna make a little setup out of this guy. We'll talk a little bit more about it, but let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we have our setup for the Surface Studio 2. Now, there's not a lot going on over here, guys. I just added a couple of other Surface products here. Uh, we got the Surface Precision mouse right here. Uh, I find this to be a lot more comfortable than the one that it came with. This is an awesome mouse. It feels really good. It's ergonomic, has extra buttons on the side. I even threw in the Surface dial because Let's face it, this thing was made for the Surface Studio uh, and it's great for creativity, using creative work, uh, being able to choose different tools like in Photoshop and other apps. And if you don't want to use those, you can just use it to scroll your page or even just control your volume. So it's nice to have that there as well. And this guy, one of the latest products to come out from Microsoft, the Surface headphones. These are actually really, really cool headphones. Uh, the way they work with the Surface Studio as well as like your phone, you can seamlessly switch between the two so I won't really have to do any crazy pairing in order to use them. But I'm gonna be touching on that in its own dedicated video. I'll have it linked down below for whenever it does come out so you guys can learn all you need to know about the Surface headphones. But honestly, I didn't wanna go super crazy with this setup. Uh, I threw in some Logitech speakers over here. These are the G560s. Uh, they have RGB lights in the back, but you know, I'm trying to keep the surface aesthetic here where it's like very minimalist and clean. And I've also got an Xbox One Elite controller right here. Since this guy does have a GTX 1070 inside of it, we're gonna be able to play some games now with some good quality. So definitely something I'm going to be excited to try out. It's a nice, beautiful display, man. How can you not? And this computer is definitely geared towards creators. Uh, the whole design of it is based on that because you can just slant it down like this, grab the pen, kind of get started doing some work, open up some Photoshop. Look, somebody wrote a beautiful message over here. <laughs> but you can use this to, of course, do whatever you need to do. I am no artist, so I can't really take advantage of Photoshop the way somebody else would, but you, you get the idea. 
But the Surface Studio 2, guys, the thing is a beast of a machine. It's got a great display. I obviously need to test it out and see what it's capable of. But I was able to do some gaming on it when I first tried it out, so that's something I'm really excited about. But let me know what you guys think. This is what a all-out Surface uh, desk setup would look like if you try to put one together. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives the video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.